Welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo and I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I love, love, love to talk about everything Canada, life in Canada, immigrating to Canada, everything that has to do with Canada. I love to talk about it because I live in Canada and I want you to come and join me in Canada. And I want you to come visit Canada and also immigrate to Canada. So if you're interested in any of those, just subscribe to this channel and destroy the like button or click on the notification bell whenever i upload a video you'll be the first to know please don't forget to just give me the thumbs up i need a thumbs up i said i need a thumbs up <laughs> i'm just so happy because it's a beautiful new week and no matter what it is i want to be positive and stay positive so i encourage everybody to be positive and whatever you desire will come to pass so one more one more question have you subscribed to this channel if you have not you are missing a lot too. you are missing on a lot of things so last week i was talking about the united states elections and how it affects canada and how the united states likes to bully canada anyway that was when trump was in power but now that biden has won the elections i mean we would be maybe seeing some things in some positive relationship between canada and the united states like what i said in my last video <laughs> that the top talents canada is looking to attract from the united states i don't think it will work again because um, maybe biden would reverse most of the immigration policies that trump put in place and they might be kind of retaining their top talents uh, people with h1b visas so canada has no choice than to you know look for top talents elsewhere anywhere in the world so that brings me to the topic i want to talk about today you know there was a time i announced that canada will be inviting 1.2 million new immigrants between 2021 and 2023 but the only thing i didn't do about that video was to kind of break it down to tell you the number of people they'll be inviting and the categories under which those people would come under and the yearly target so because it will be 1.2 million people the yearly target is going to be 400,000 people per year so in 2021 we'll be expecting 400,000 new immigrants to canada unfortunately they might not be coming from the united states they have to come from all over the world anyway so let me not go back to that united states election or whatever let me focus on canada and <laughs> the immigration so for 2021 400,000 new immigrants would become permanent residents in canada and what you should know is that each category of um, the immigration pathways they have their own targeted number so don't just assume that because they say 400,000 people will become permanent um, residents in 2021 all of them will come through express entry no so this is the breakdown for 2021 target and i'm going to be reading it out um, please bear with me i had to write it down because i don't want to forget the figures so for the express entry be expecting 108,500 people and for the provincial nominations 80,800 but one thing you should also know is that even people who get the express entry some of them actually get provincial nominations so it's looking like the express entry itself will be filled with more people from provincial nominations and currently there are only two provinces that have been given provincial nominations to people outside canada some other provinces like nova scotia and new brunswick they actually do one or two little draws just notifying people but it's not as major as that of saskatchewan and ontario when it comes to people from outside canada the other provinces they are focusing on people in canada and people who already have job offers so out of these eighty thousand eight hundred people some of them or would i say some of them yeah some of them will actually still go into the express entry pool and then still be drawn under the express entry so i still don't understand why uh they are giving provincial nominations a target although there are people who would send in their provincial nominations separately not using the express entry but most of them actually um try to link the applications with their express entry profile and then go into the express entry pool 
and that means that the comprehensive ranking score will become very high the draw scores will become very high and you must have seen that from the last draw scores which was 478 because of the introduction of the French language points which I also talked about in one of my previous videos the French language points and the provincial nomination will now make the express entry draw scores very high so if you've not started learning French please go and start learning French yes go and start learning French I actually made an announcement for a French tutor unfortunately that class is closed I don't know why <laughs> when it comes to YouTube it's like the information is coming to YouTube late for the Instagram page the Canada Info Hub Instagram page it's always fast and updated so I'll try as much as possible to be passing information both on the Instagram page and the YouTube community page as well it's very important because I can't neglect you guys you guys are my first first primary constituent so i have to i have to you know focus on all of my youtube subscribers because you are the guys that um actually made me even go ahead to create an instagram page so i shouldn't be you know making you guys lose out on information that you need so please bear with me okay so back to what i was saying that means that if you have not started learning french the best thing you can do is to start learning french so many people who know that their comprehensive ranking scores are low it is very important to start learning french and in my next video i'll be talking about where you should be targeting for provincial nominations if you are bilingual if you're a french person the provinces you should be targeting for provincial nominations i'll talk about them extensively and also talk about quebec so that will be my next video quebec will be targeting 22400 um permanent residents in the province of quebec they've introduced three new programs and one of them is actually unique so i'll talk about it in my next video then the next one is the federal business class which is 1000 so for the federal business class they are only going to like give 1000 people um, permanent resident status under that class and i don't know why that class is so small i am thinking it is because not many people are actually taking advantage of the federal business class um, setting up businesses in canada and then becoming permanent resident um, via the uh, federal business class so you have the startup visa you also have provincial nomination programs that leads to um, permanent residency if they invest in businesses in the provinces those ones are also there but why it is just 1000 is what i don't understand so that's it for federal business class only 1000 um, permanent residents for 2021 then the next one is aipp so for aipp they will be targeting 6000 um, permanent residents under aipp and if you are among those who are targeting aipp that means you have to start searching for job opportunities but what i am thinking is this most of the people who get permanent resident status through the aipp are actually people who already have existing job offers um, living in those atlantic provinces so and students as well who have just recently graduated from those provinces so if you're thinking you might be targeting aipp to get a pr status for 2021 the only thing you have to start doing is to start searching for a job and of course you know you have to look at the designated list of employers in those provinces and target your job search um in those areas i will talk about it extensively in another video that is for aipp then the next one is the agri food pilot the rnip and the caregiver pilot these three pilots the target number is 8500 so it's going to be divided amongst the agri food pilot the rural and northern immigration pilot and then the caregiver pilot so and you know this program requires job search job offers and for the caregiver pilot most of the people who might get permanent resident status are already living in canada as caregivers so if you're thinking of becoming a permanent resident through the through the caregiver pilot or through the rnip or through the um, agri food pilot there is no harm in searching for a job so this is actually the breakdown of what the 2021 immigration target is going to look like and it is left for you to ask yourself which of the um, pathways that you think will be suitable for you there are still other unconventional pathways which i'm not going to talk about on this video i'll talk about it maybe in a separate video i have even done them before which i put on private but i'll be releasing the videos 
by this week or next week hopefully um so yeah it doesn't stop you from you know putting in effort in doing what you're supposed to do i find it that most people are not willing to put in the effort in research and that is why people fall victim of fraud stars if you're not going to put effort in doing research independent research on your own then it is better to seek the advice of a regulated canadian immigration consultant or a lawyer because those are the people who are authorized to you know provide advice search for options for you that is suitable to you and then put an application for you so if you cannot do the research yourself don't go and start paying agents who charge you one million or five thousand dollars for an opportunity that does not exist please beware of fraudsters beware of fraudsters they are rampant these days and i don't know why people will deliberately go and fall victim of these guys parting with your hard-earned money giving it to somebody who does not even have a canadian visa on their passport is as bad as that there are even some people in canada who are also taking advantage of people outside canada and it's sad for me to know that people will be doing such things to people who are outside canada so please don't fall victim to fraudsters if you're going to do anything do your due diligence yourself and if you cannot do it yourself connect with a regulated canadian immigration consultant um, that will help you with your application or that will give you the best advice that is suitable for you so this is the information i want to share today i have been talking too much i don't want to talk too much and i want to ask you for one thing one favor have you given me a like just give me like just give me some likes give me some thumbs up and subscribe to this channel okay so that's all i want to share for you today i want to wish you a beautiful new week yes a beautiful new week um all the things that you desire this week i pray that it will be fulfilled and um yeah so enjoy your week and see you in my next video bye bye